Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. A while ago I made a video talking about whether these fire alarms square ink at you or not when you pull them. The answer to that question is no. No fire alarm out there will actually dispense ink at you when you pull it. That's pretty much a myth. Very rarely you might see a pull station with some dye applied to the handle so when you touch it it gets transferred to your hand but generally that just doesn't happen and that video ended up being my most popular video of all time so I guess people really liked it but um, that got me thinking. What if we made a fire alarm that actually squirts ink at you? So today what we're going to be doing is making a fire alarm that actually squirts ink at you when you pull it. Let's come up with a game plan on how this is going to work. The goal here is to have a pull station that still serves as a fire alarm, so when you pull it, it'll still activate an alarm, but also it'll squirt ink at you and mark whoever pulls it. I want to mention that this is not something you can do in an actual building. Tampering with a fire alarm device or modifying it in any way will void the UL listing, so this is just for demonstration purposes and just for fun. I have this little fish tank pump. I bought it on eBay a while ago. It's very cheap, very simple. Basically how it works is when you apply six volts to these terminals, air just comes out of the nozzle. Very simple, like I said, and attached to it will be this little plastic tube. My idea here is to have this tube sit at an arch and at the bottom of the tube will be some ink. And basically when the pump isn't running, the liquid will just sit at the bottom. And then the other side of this tube feeds through the pull station. When the pump activates, it'll push the ink out and through this nozzle and hopefully squirt ink at you. Here's a little diagram of what I just talked about. It's a little messy. I literally just came up with this idea on a train. But as you can see, the pull station will be on some sort of board. Behind it will be the tube and then the ink just sits here. And the pump here is normally upside down and it'll push the ink out through the pull station when activated. All right, so I've set up a piece of plywood here. I have a workbench behind it. I'm gonna mount the pole station right here. There's already a hole here for the wire, but I do need a second hole now because I have a pump and I need to feed the tube through. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole somewhere like right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mount the box. I chose this box with the uh, end cut out. This is an extender ring, but it'll just help because of course I have two holes rather than just one knockout. Here's my 24 volt power supply, which I'm gonna feed through the board here. And then I have this other piece of scrap wire, which is gonna go run out to the relay. So I'll also feed that through the board here. And I'm gonna splice the positives together, or actually I'm gonna splice the negatives together and switch the positive side, which is gonna to connect to the pull station. Before I secure the pole station to the box, I gotta feed this pipe through. And as you can see, it fits pretty much perfectly in that tiny hole. So you kind of get the idea here when you flip the cover open to pull it, this will squirt ink at you. But uh, now we can go ahead and secure the pole station to the back box. Let's go ahead and shut the pole station. There we go. So here's the wire coming out of the pole station. I'm just gonna wire this to the positive and negative side of the relay trigger. Also what I'm gonna do along with connecting these to the relay is connect them to an additional piece of wire. And this is gonna to run to a horn strobe that's gonna go off when the alarm is activated. There we go. Right next to the pole station, I'm gonna put a horn strobe. So I'm gonna drill a hole in the board, maybe like right here. Go ahead and feed our wire through that hole. Then we can go ahead and put our horn strobe right here. Go ahead and wire up the device on the bracket here. There we go. I put the device on chime because it's kind of late at night and I don't want it to be too loud. But now we have these two wired together. So now let's go ahead and work on that relay. I've got this little adapter. This is what I'm gonna be using to power this little pump. So I gotta cut off the end here because this is still connected. Real quick, I'm gonna solder some leads to this little pump. So I just have some scrap wires that are pretty thin. And what I'm gonna do is just tighten them around those terminals and solder them in place. There we go. So there's our pump. I'm thinking we just mount it upside down right there and secure it somehow. The tube will just connect like that at an arch. The ink will sit down there. I found this little conduit clamp, which conveniently is basically exactly the same size as this pump. So this will actually work out. It's pretty much perfectly in there. So now I have to tighten down the screw and that'll hold it in place. Perfect. The tube attaches right there. So I'm gonna connect one side of the power supply to the pump. And then the other side is what's gonna be switched by this relay. And there we go, our circuit is finished. 
So as you can see, we have our 24 volts, which is switched by that switch, goes into the pole station, triggers the relay, and also runs to the horn strobe. And then also this relay will then trigger this pump, and then we'll fill this with ink. Real quick, let's do a dry run, like actually a literal dry run since there's no ink in the pipes yet, just to make sure everything works. I feel the air coming out of that thing. So I guess this whole thing works. Let's fill the pipes with ink. All right, so I don't have a tub of ink lying around, but what I do have is some expired soy sauce. So that's what I've used here. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but I watered it down a little with some water just so it's not as uh, staining. But what I'm gonna do is now use this little syringe that I have and just kind of get some of it into the tube like so. And there you go, it's not toxic or anything. And then I'll put this on the other end here and then just kind of push it into the tubes like so. And then let go, connect it to the pump. And now, as soon as that pump activates, it's gonna start pushing air and then the ink will go through the pull station. Let's go ahead and test it. All right, so I've gone ahead and put on a shirt I don't really care about and I'm gonna pull this pull station. No idea how far it's gonna shoot, but I don't wanna stain anything, so let's pull it. Oh my goodness. Well, the pull station certainly squirts ink. My hand is now covered in watered down soy sauce, which smells delightful, but this pipe is too small and it doesn't hold a lot of ink. So uh, it squirts out really fast and it's really easy to dodge. So I went on and put on this really long tube here and we're gonna fill this whole thing with ink and uh, hopefully it'll be a more entertaining show. I'm not sure why this feels illegal for some reason. All right, I've adjusted the ink. I have a feeling this is gonna get pretty messy, so I moved the camera a little bit out of the way, but uh, let's try this out. Oh my goodness. Well, that made quite a mess. I didn't know this was capable of launching it that far. All right, I'm gonna do this one more time and I'm gonna film it in slow motion so you can see the ink come out. It does happen really quick. Ah, oh, fire! Well, that's going to do it for today. Fire alarms certainly don't squirt ink in the real world, but here they certainly do. Thank you for watching.